that's something that's been kind of heavy on my heart and my mind the last several months. I read, I read a uh, manuscript for a friend of mine who uh, was releasing a book called Vertical Church. In that book, the author, James McDonald, actually writes the first part of the book about the active presence of God versus the omnipresence of God. In other words, that is a manifest presence of God versus the omnipresence of God. And all of us would say is, is God everywhere at the same time? Sure he is. Uh, but is his active presence the same everywhere at the same time? And it's not. One of the stories that uh, is used in the book from God's Word to uh, illustrate this or uh, to teach us this point, uh, the Israelites had just uh, received the Ten Commandments. Most of just received the Ten Commandments. The Israelites down below uh, it made this golden calf, or worshiping this golden calf, and Moses came down, uh, stacked all the all the uh, senseless idol worship on behalf of the Israelites. And uh, God basically said to their leader, to Moses, at the time, He said, I, I'm not going to go into the promised land with you. And even the people that had been worshiping this idol understood the significance of that at, at, at that moment. And, and uh, Moses came back to the Lord and just uh, described it for the Lord that, that God would not do this, that God would go with them, that his presence would be with them. And, uh, and God answered his prayer and uh, said that he would go. In Exodus chapter 33, verse 14, he says, and, and he said, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. And people then, uh, people then uh, rejoiced and were ready to move into the promised land. But here's the thing. I wonder how many of us continue down the path knowing that God's really not present in a way that is active in that. I wonder how many of our services in uh, in churches, not only ours, but uh, in churches all across uh, around the world, across America this past Sunday, was uh, God's active presence not really there. Sure, God's there and that He's on the present, but how do you know God's showed up for worship? How do you know God is actively at work in your own life personally? And uh, what, a, uh, what a sad commentary. God would look at us and say, I'm not going to get my presence. is not going to 